Well, hello there. New Melon Design here with another video from the series called Video Tutorials, where I'll show you video settings for my final renders. In this type of tutorial, I'll focus on things like depth of field, camera angles, camera movement, and so on. So in case you're interested in a full render settings for this project, I will post the link in the top right corner. So let's start with our first clip. As you can see here, this is my uh, opening shot. It is a wide to a medium angle shot and the movement of the camera we're using in here is a dolly move. So let's open the depth of field. There's a lot of uh, blur in the scene. So we're bringing the amount up and I'm evenly splitting uh, the focus in between the foreground and the background. So the immediate foreground and the background are blurred and the uh, center of our attention or focus of our attention is on this uh, maple tree in the middle. So the focus distance is only uh, one and a half meters. There is one more effect I want to mention in here. Uh, it is called the wind. Very easy and straightforward to adjust. Basically you slide up and down according to the strength of the wind you wish to have in your clip. And what it does is basically it moves your vegetation, grass, uh, falling leaves or foliage in the wind in your clip. So moving on to our second clip. Uh, here we have once again a wide to a medium angle shot and the movement of the camera is a tracking shot from right to left. Open up the depth of field effect. Straight away you can see we have uh, two keyframes on our timeline. That means we're going to be shifting our focus from the foreground on to the area in the front of the house or the car and the entry uh, area of the house. So the amount we brought down just a little bit, but we changed the foreground and the background slider all the way uh, to background, which will make the background blurred as you can see in here, but it will keep the foreground uh, sharp. Next up, our third clip, this is our big revealing shot. It is a wide angle shot as you can see in here and it is a combo move uh, of the camera which is called a crane or a boom shot uh, along with the pan from right to left to be able to reveal the main portion of the house including the, the surrounding. So let's open up the depth of field. Uh, we brought up the amount of blur somewhere in the in the middle but we shifted the foreground background slider towards the foreground so that will make this portion which is in the shade blurred and the main portion of the house uh, nice and sharp. We use the autofocus feature in here and we set it on the main portion of the house. Next clip we have a medium uh, angle shot in here and the movement of the camera is a tracking shot from left to right to reveal the, the back portion of the house including some of the interior as well. Let's open the depth of field in here. The amount of blur is pretty much the same uh, like in a previous uh, clip. Also the foreground and the background slider is set towards the foreground so it will make the grass in here uh, blurred and the, uh, the focus or center of our attention will be on this corridor and the furniture uh, inside the house. Next clip we have a very, uh, very wide uh, angle shot in here and the camera movement is called a pan from right to left and it is revealing the, this front or main portion of the house. Let's open up the depth of field. What are we doing in here? Uh, we brought the amount of blur down just a little bit but we changed the foreground background uh, towards the background which will make obviously the background uh, blurred a little bit but we want to keep this uh, rock and the tree and the front uh, portion of the house uh, sharp. We're using the autofocus uh, feature in here. We just set it up somewhere around the, uh, the front portion of the house or in here and it will keep uh, this area sharp and the background will be a little bit blurred. Next up, our next clip we have a wide uh, angle shot in here, uh, revealing the atrium or the inside portion of the house. 
the camera movement is a dolly uh, forward uh, move as you can see in here let's open up the depth of field uh, we kept the uh, amount uh, of blur pretty much the same as in previous clip and we uh, also keep the, the foreground and the background uh, slider towards the background which will make it blurred a little bit and the front portion uh, of the house or wherever the camera is moving will stay uh, sharp. Next clip we have this uh, medium uh, angle shot and we're moving the camera from left to right which is a tracking uh, tracking shot trying to reveal basically the uh, main portion of the house including the interior let's open the depth of field we uh, increase the amount of blur a little bit and we move the uh, foreground and the background slider almost all the way down towards the foreground so it will keep the, the foreground blurred out of uh, the center of our attention and keep the focus on the main portion of the house and also show the whole depth of the house as well. Next shot is a bit of an artistic uh, shot in here. This is a medium uh, angle shot as you can see in here. Uh, the camera movement uh, is called a zoom shot. It looks like the camera is uh, moving uh, slightly forward but it is actually the changing of the <coughs> focal length excuse me so the camera is steady we are changing the focal length a little bit and it will give the perspective of uh, zooming forward just slightly let's open up the depth of field and in here we can see uh, we have two keyframes on our timeline so we are shifting the focus from this object in front towards the uh, the car at the back uh, the amount of blur somewhere around here first third and we change the foreground background towards the background so it will keep the background uh, blurred at all time but the front only when we shift in the focus from the front towards the car moving on to our second last clip we're using a wide angle shot in here and the movement of the camera is a tracking shot from left to right to show a little bit of, uh, of the patio or pool area under the house including the, the glass staircase in here let's open up uh, the depth of field uh, we keep the amount of blur pretty much the same as in the previous clip we change the foreground background slider towards the foreground so we keep the, the ledge of the pool out of the focus and we uh, choose the autofocus feature in here and we set the, the center of our attention on this furniture including the the whole uh, pool or pat patio area with the staircase uh, to keep it sharp and that gets us to our last clip in here we have a very wide uh, angle shot the camera movement in here is a dolly and it is uh, moving away from the house which is our uh, perfect for our closing shot, revealing the whole uh, uh, portion of the house, including the pool. Let's see what we're doing with the depth of field. Uh, we reduced the amount of blur in here, so we can actually keep the surrounding, the main pool area, along with the house uh, sharp. We set the focusing distance on the house itself, and we turn on the autofocus feature which will uh, keep the focusing distance variable and it will keep it on the house that means that will stay sharp the rest of it a little bit of blur on the background a little bit of blur on the foreground and that is our final and closing shot so thanks for watching stay well and stay creative